Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Mary. So we're jumping right in. I'm gonna start showing you these things that I got. These two right here are regular vinyl, not iron-on. Um, from HTV Ront, they reached out to me and asked if I could showcase some of their iron-on and vinyl. And I uh, happily uh, said yes because I am um, wanting to play more with my Cricut, but I also want to find other uses and share those with you as well. So if you are not a Cricut user, Silhouette user, uh, that's okay. There are other tips and tricks for us card makers and paper crafters. So stick with us throughout the video. I am going to show you here making the first thing is going to be a traditional iron-on process. So this um, this rainbow right here, just stunning. The other rainbow is more of a smoother blend. This has like diamond pattern in it. Oh, it's just so pretty. So when you're doing iron on transfer, you want to make sure two main things. One, your shiny side, or in this case, the pretty side goes down and that you are putting your machine on a mirror image before you cut out your words or your images. Um, right here, I also wanted to remind you, you can cut down your uh, your iron-on transfer or your iron-on uh, vinyl down to size before you even put it on your mat. Now I'm doing what's called weeding, and so I'm pulling away all the excess here. And um, if I was thinking about this, I would have cut that out because you can save those little pieces, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those little pieces in just a little bit. But I have this uh, little tool here on my fingers, and it's like a silicone holder, but it's so convenient to pull off these little pieces and just put them right in there with my picker tool. Now, I'm using a uh, tool for the Cricut machine, but you can also use a poker tool or anything you have that's sort of sharp, and you can pick up those pieces. But this is what we're going to be putting on our shirt today. It's uh, the word believe. You put, place it down where you want it, and then I like to iron my shirt first, just give it a good once over. And then of course I'm gonna speed through this, but it's 30 seconds on each with lots and lots of pressure. And so I'm gonna go on the left side, then the right side. The pressure matters, the heat setting matters, so just use your machine manufacturer's settings if you're using a Cricut press like I am. Also, some iron-on transfer vinyl is uh, cool, pool and then like hot pool or warm pool and that means like you're going to pull that clear piece off when it's cooled down or not and this one's cool so now I'm placing on the words team nation and then a little diamond over the eye and if you're wondering what this is this is the the team I belong to um, for Beachbody I'm a coach and this is the name of our team and so I'm making a shirts we got merch <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not merchandise that we sell. <laughs> but um, we, I gave this to my coach and she was just enamored. Uh, so, yep, so that's Team Believe Nation and I love that rainbow. So here I'm showing you, it is flexible. It's nice and flexible um, as far as the um, vinyl goes. And I'm really impressed with this. And, oh, need I say this? Because you all know I'm on the frugal side but it is really affordable. Like the probably the best price I've seen out there. So I really wanted to check the quality and that's why I'm sharing it and that's why I'm talking it up because I find it to be really good quality. Now let's go to the fellow paper crafter out there who might not have a die cutting machine like the Cricut or the Silhouette, but does have, um, I don't know, alphabet sets that we don't use. <laughs> we need more use for that's what we're gonna do now so I'm gonna run this through my little Gemini go here and I'm using leftovers from that um, actually leftover pieces that I cut off previously from the vinyl not the piece that I pulled away and wasted that was kind of a no-go at that point you need that front cover need that's loose, but I'll show you what I mean. So I originally used um, the, this is still the rainbow paper, but I used the uh, blue aside for this. So this is for Adia's sweatshirt, and I am going to press this on the back of her sweatshirt because she lost her favorite sweatshirt at school the other day and was just really upset about it. And so we would have felt better had she put her name 
or initials on it. So now we're doing that for all her favorite clothes. <laughs> but this is uh, what we're going to do. See, I'm using my picker tool to pull off that clear piece, which is the part that we would be able to remove in one fell swoop if we were using a larger piece. Okay, let's move on to regular vinyl. This is the large black um, roll that I showed you at the beginning. I am going to cut out, die cut, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I Downstairs in the kitchen, we have um, some cups like any kitchen has, but apparently my kids need to try out every single cup every single day, and I'm not having it anymore. So I am going to label two of those cups and they can use them per day <laughs> because I don't need to be washing 16,000 cups when really two will do. So I am gonna reposition the A and the J so it's nice and straight. I'm just kind of fiddling with it. You don't wanna lay down your sticky vinyl pieces on your glass mat and then try to pick it up with the transfer tape. You can go ahead and ask me how I know that <laughs> because I basically did that with Adia's name on my glass mat, and my glass net mat was about to be named Adia permanently. So it comes off, I'm just kidding. But yeah, just, just kind of place them, I'll show you here with the Adia. And you saw what I did with the cup, so I just labeled this cup, and then follow up to that story, I went downstairs the other day and asked him where his cup was, and he looked at me like he didn't know. And I was like, good gracious me. <laughs> the reason I didn't show you a close up here is because he took it from me at that moment in time. All right, so now I'm gonna take my, you see what I did here on the glass mat? Not clever. Now I'm just gonna peel them off and I'm going to use my transfer tape and use the, that grid marking on there to lay them out straight. And I just fiddle around with it for a little bit. But um, the fact that I don't have to wash all those cups from now on is worth its time and weight in gold because I don't mind fiddling with this just to get this going. So now I have her name. And I'm going to place this on her cup as well. I, if I could do this again, which I will be doing, I would use a different color so they stand out. But I used a vastly different font. You can see this is the skinny, the tall skinny um, die set from scrapbook.com. And the other one was the bold set, I believe. And so there we go. And I already put them through the dishwasher. It came out unscathed completely. So it's really good for this idea. Now let's pull out some of those dies that we have for paper crafting, card making, um, but we would love to see them on a piece of clothing. That's what we're gonna do next. And I'm gonna show you some tricks here to do this so it's not um, painstaking, which being honest, it was for me in the beginning until I figured out this, trip, this trick. So I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine and now I'm gonna get these pieces coming off here. Now how in the heck are we going to put this on clothes and make them straight that's going to be really challenging because they're they're sort of bent up and you once you put the cover over them to put the heat press on you're not going to see if it's straight so this is how we're going to do this but first before i get to that i'm going to cut out the word lucky and then the clouds in some silver glitter uh, vinyl so I get those out. Now what I'm doing is I'm pulling off my clouds and I am gonna use my original die as the template for this um, so that I can see what I'm doing. For regular dies like this Lucky die, you don't need to do this technique because it's gonna lay flat and you know where it is. So that's uh, no big deal. I'm cutting down my transfer sheet to size and I am going to use it, like I said, as um, a, a help with my template so that I can make sure that I get this rainbow as intended. I'm going to peel it off of its backing paper and I'm going to start figuring out how I want to lay or how I'm going to position this. The first thing I do is I'm going to put the silver clouds on top of the non-cutting side of the die. See how I'm placing them there? they're gonna fit just like they are as if they were being cut out. So that's gonna be right there. Disregard that top rainbow piece there. I'm not worried about that right now. I have to peel that back anyway. But I have both my clouds in there. They're lined up and now I'm gonna put my transfer sheet on top of them. I get that done and then I'm gonna remove my top rainbow because it wasn't lined up and I couldn't get them lined up 
for anything uh, without using this technique. So now I'm just going to hold it in place with a little bit of mint tape and I'm going to place my clouds right back on top of the original cloud dies and lay the transfer sheet down and then that's going to pick up that top rainbow. And I am going to repeat this step for each and every piece. Now I just put the tiniest bit of mint tape on the edges just to hold it inside the die. And this way it will not move, but I can remove that mint tape very easily. I don't recommend you using anything very sticky because you just don't wanna shift uh, your rainbow around. Just something that will keep it there for a couple seconds. Going to do it again with the next rainbow. And so very simple. I'm just going to keep this in here so you can watch the whole process. But um, yeah, it took me a minute to kind of figure this out. I don't have very much of like an engineer brain like I tell my husband he has. So it takes me a minute to kind of figure out the best way to do it. I'll eventually get there. Well, that's what I tell myself. <laughs> I'll eventually get there. He just always rushes me. And I say, you got to let me think these things through. So now I have my rainbow. We're ready to put it on the, the shirt. So like I said, I like to give it a little bit of a once over. If you're using a regular iron, that works too. I just happen to have the Cricut press, which I love. Um, it's good for ironing clothes in general, by the way, because it's huge. So I'm gonna place that down. Now I wanna let you know, I did do a test run of using that transfer uh, tape underneath heat and it's fine. It's absolutely fine. That would have been really bad and just not a risk I was willing to take, so I just pulled out some scrap fabric and made sure. I got my lucky down. Now, you don't want to forget this next step because it looks like you're done, but you're not. So you want to go back in with your tweezers. What I, what I was saying before was the cool peel. I think I was saying cool pool. I don't know. I, maybe I wanted to rhyme today. But cool peel means it's cooled down and I'm ready to take off that front piece. So don't forget to do that. Go back in with your tweezers and pull this off and then you will reveal your finished shirt. I was so excited to do this because I'm always looking for more ways to use some of those more expensive card making supplies such as dyes. They can be kind of pricey, but if you're finding multiple uses for them, then to me, it's, it's worth it. So here's the finished shirt. Again, pretty flexible vinyl. Um, I love it, and here's a picture of me wearing it uh, working out because I just need a little rainbow in my workout. <laughs> there it is. Sorry, I have no head in this picture, but it wouldn't fit the screen. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some other quick things that vinyl can be used for. Um, right here I have my storage labeled and that is um, for where I keep all my additional tools and supplies and I think it just looks really pretty uh, with that white vinyl on it. Now this isn't vinyl, these are actually stickers, but the same concept applies. If you, you, you have die cut alphabets, you can just use vinyl pieces, die cut them out and place them right down. And what I was showing you there is how I store my alphabets, which is in a future video to come. Um, more details about making card making simpler. My last tip here is if you have a lot of weeding to do, meaning pulling out lots of parts, which I do on this one right here, I would highly recommend using some sort of magnetic surface. I'm working on my white glass mat, which is magnetic. I love this mat for a gazillion reasons, and I've done a full video on it, so you can check that out at the end. I'll link it. Um, but it is so helpful to not have those pieces rolling up on me while I'm trying to do this. So that was just something else um, I wanted to share as far as a tip goes. And I am going to put a little plug in there. The company is still offering 20% off if you use my code. So you can catch that in the uh, description box below. Thank you so much for stopping by and for hanging out with me. I hope this was useful for you. Get more out of your supplies, stretch them, have fun. And if you want to check out anything I used, it'll all be listed in the description box below. So you can head down there. Also, my link tree where we can connect on other social media platforms, as well as stuff like my Amazon storefront, Facebook, Instagram, all the things. I will see you in the comments down below and in the next video. Bye-bye.